Russian airlines may soon be compelled to suspend dozens of planes, including Boeing, Airbus, and domestically produced superjets, as a result of Western sanctions that have cut off supplies of original aircraft parts. Industry insiders report that Radio Free Europe, a predominantly anti-Russian publication, has reported that the fleet of Russian carriers, which consists of approximately 700 Western aircraft and approximately 150 SSJ-100s, is on the verge of a critical moment. Every aircraft is required to undergo routine inspections, a sea check every 1.5 to 2 years, and a more comprehensive D check every 6 to 12 years. Nevertheless, these procedures are unattainable in the absence of direct involvement from the manufacturers who have ceased to collaborate with Russian companies. The majority of aircraft in Russian corporate fleets will undergo their final flights legally in 2025, stated an aviation safety expert who requested anonymity due to the sensitive nature of the subject. He believes that the scarcity of spare parts will have an impact on superjets, which are composed entirely of Western components, such as engines, avionics, electrical systems, landing gear, and fuel systems. Ultimately, the absence of components will necessitate the grounding of both foreign aircraft and superjets. The expert cautioned that the superjets will only remain operational for an additional year. First, let us understand the aircraft maintenance in a bit more detail. The number of man-hours necessary for aircraft maintenance is contingent upon the complexity of the aircraft, its type, and the specific maintenance task. For commercial aircraft, routine maintenance typically requires 12 to 20 man-hours per flight hour, contingent upon the aircraft's complexity and size. For military aircraft, such as the C-17 Globemaster III, the requirement is approximately 20 man-hours per flight hour as a result of its mission-critical systems and complexity. The C-check and D-check are significantly more labor-intensive than light maintenance inspections. Every 18 to 24 months, over a period of one to three weeks, a C-check requires up to 6,000 man-hours to complete. This stage includes intensive examinations of structural components, systems, and general maintenance duties. On the other hand, the D-check, which is the most comprehensive and takes place every six to 12 years, necessitates 30,000 to 50,000 man-hours over a period of six to eight weeks or more. The D-check involves disassembling the aircraft's engines, landing gear, cabin interior, and all systems. The process enables a comprehensive examination and repair of each component. Methods of inspection. The inspection of critical components, including the fuselage and wings, is conducted using advanced instruments such as ultrasound and x-rays to detect corrosion, structural damage, or wear. The cost of the D-check is exorbitant, frequently exceeding millions of dollars. Typically, an aircraft undergoes two or three D-checks before being retired, as the high maintenance expenses are disproportionate to its value. Various factors influence the variability in the number of man-hours necessary for aircraft maintenance. The complexity of the aircraft is a significant factor, as the sophisticated systems and components of larger or more advanced aircraft necessitate more time. Furthermore, the maintenance requirements of military aircraft are influenced by their high-performance components and mission-critical designs, which necessitate more maintenance hours than those of commercial aircraft. Additionally, the burden can be increased by up to 50% beyond that of planned tasks due to unanticipated repairs or issues that arise during routine inspections, necessitating additional time and resources. Maintenance duties exemplify the range of man-hours required. The pre-flight and post-flight tests may necessitate the participation of two to four technicians who will work for one to two hours. Specific personnel and time allocations are necessary for tasks such as hydraulic system flushes or tire changes. The labor-intensive nature of maintaining airworthiness and safety in aviation is underscored by the dismantling of major components, such as engines and fuselage, for detailed inspections and repairs, as is the case with heavy inspections, such as those conducted during a D-check. Returning to the subject, the current situation has resulted in an increase in aviation incidents due to the shortage of spare parts, which are flown in from third countries, and lack of quality control. In 2025, 
in-flight malfunctions forced at least 10 Russian airline aircraft to make emergency landings. Engine failures occurred in 11 aircraft between December 1st and January 20th, including eight Boeing and Airbus aircraft and three superjets. Novaya Gazeta Europe recorded about 200 aviation incidents in the first 11 months of last year, which is a 25% increase from 2023. Engine failures or landing gear malfunctions were the cause of nearly half of the cases, which is about 90. The series of breakdowns is bound to continue, and the number of incidents will rise, believes Lee Walker, an expert at the Berkeley Risk and Security Lab. She does not rule out that the scale of the problem is greater than reported. Western aircraft account for two-thirds of Russia's civilian aviation fleet and 90% of passenger transport now. Do you think there is any truth in these alarmist reports by anti-Russian news outlets? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.